Hello everybody, so today we're gonna talk about uh, Peloton stock and why I am putting uh, like $2,500 on this stock. So I like when, they, when the stock price dropped like 25%, I've been buying it and I've been averaging cash down. So I already have like uh, $1,800 on this stock. So I'm gonna put more on it uh, later. So on this video, what we're gonna talk about and uh, the topics that we talk about is like everything. So my disclosure and I have financial advisor, please do your own research so I could be wrong. So in this video, I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about uh, why uh, Peloton uh, have so much inventory on the uh, balance sheet and uh, how much and uh, why they and uh, um, uh, the CEO sell uh, sell so uh, one hundred more than hundred million dollars, uh, worth of shares, and talk about the uh capital raise, and we're gonna talk about we become the next Fitbit or GoPro. I was gonna talk about uh, why are so many people uh, like some people are very bullish on the stock, but when the price drop, they become very negative. And um, uh, we can also talk about uh, their uh, was the three product they are uh, focused on, and then we can uh, we can also talk about uh, their operating system, and we can also talk about their trainers. Okay, so there's a lot to cover. So let's uh, start off with the with the first one. So when um, um, Peloton, I got a lot of notes. I did a lot of research and write down the road, so I make, make sure that I don't forget uh, to say and uh, to discuss everything I want to talk about and share with, share with you all my uh, research for this uh, stock. So do I have high confidence, high conviction on this stock? No, I do not. So that's why I'm not putting uh, my portfolio like in the past uh, few weeks have been dropped like 20,000. So it's, right now it's like 210,000. And I'm only putting like 2,000 on it. So it's not huge, huge, uh, uh, high conviction like Tesla or, or, or uh, Snapchat uh, stock. Okay. Uh, when will you now uh, first? Uh, why did I buy this stock? So that's the first one we can talk about. First, uh, the reason is that because they have a like a subscription uh, side of the business that costs like uh, $39 a month and for their hardware. So you just, uh, when you buy a bike, you have to subscribe to take class. So you, you can think of Peloton like a more of a fitness company that also sells hardware so that's how you think of it and if you think five years out right now they have like 2.77 million uh, connected fitness subscriber and around almost maybe a million eight hundred thousand to a million uh peloton app subscriber so there's this big difference between those two the peloton a uh, fitness subscriber that costs thirty nine dollar a month, and the and the app subscriber that you can uh, use uh, on your phone or uh, on the TV or anything else that costs like twelve ninety nine a month. So those uh, those uh, there are two uh two business uh to it. Okay, and so. I forgot what I was talking about. So it's and uh, the dog dog is barking and it distracted me a little bit, and so you can uh, in the moment like Peloton is more like a, and uh, is like disrupt uh, the industry is disrupting the uh, uh two hundred dollar uh fitness bike. Okay, usually, uh like like for example, usually a flip phone. That will cost like uh, 60, 70, 80 dollars you can buy. But when Apple comes in and introduce the iPhone and the price go up this dramatic rise, 10 times uh, 10 times increase in price when they 
uh, disrupt it with uh, with a screen. So that's like uh, uh, ten times higher price for a premium phone. So the it becomes like this compared to a flip flip phone. So it's not the same theory for a Peloton uh, bike. You can buy right now. You can still buy a like a uh, no technology, just regular exercise bike. Um, eBay for like hundred seventy to two hundred dollars, but Peloton bike costs one thousand five hundred to uh they they decrease decrease like four hundred, so it's like one thousand uh five hundred dollars. So it's like it's the same uh disruption disruption is happening right now. So from uh one hundred seventy to one thousand seventy, and same goes for the flip phone flip phone for the iPhone. Flip phone sixty seventy to seven hundred eight hundred dollars. So I feel it as uh, the same thing uh, is uh, happening uh, right now. So that that's one 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 of the things. Uh, uh, that's that's how I uh, see the uh, company. And and I and the and the, uh, now I was watching uh, John Foley. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, it's the CEO of Peloton interviews. He believed that uh, Peloton could become a one trillion dollar company. So today's market cap is round up to ten billion. And so it's a hundred backer in the next maybe twenty years. Uh, they can, what they're able to achieve it, I have no idea. So the address for market is very big. And and it could they he could possibly do it, but uh, I'm not really certain. Like a lot of people are talking about like, uh, could it actually become the next uh Fitbit or GoPro like Fitbit IPO like around very high, and it tanks like seven fifty seventy seventy percent, and the price never went back up. Okay. What that happened to, uh, Peloton, and same goes for GoPro. It can be up very high, like eighty. I forgot how much, but it drops like six seventy percent, eighty percent, and the price never went back up to the IPO price. Fitbit got acquired, and GoPro still there at like ten dollars. Okay. So, is it becoming the next? Will it become the next Fitbit or GoPro? In the future, um, I think is there's still a possibility it could become Fitbit or GoPro, because like but yeah, the chance is lower in my opinion. For uh for one like uh, GoPro is not a utility product, okay, like the iPhone is a utility you have to buy it, because. Is a utility product that you need every day to communicate, search web, and everything. Or a Tesla a car, a utility product that everybody need to buy. You you can <coughs> you don't see my uh, uncle or my dad mom buying a GoPro because they don't need it. Okay, it's not utility product. Same goes for a Fitbit. <coughs> it's not a utility product. It is track. Main thing about Fitbit is a track track your heart rate and stuff like that and if you can become a medical device that's another story but right now it's still not a utility product okay but um uh, Peloton bike is also not a utility product but it's a exercise equipment okay so why will my if Peloton bike was cheaper like eight hundred Seven hundred dollars. I could see a future that my uncle buy one to exercise, or uh, my mom will buy one because it although it's not utility product, but you have some more useful utility than GoPro and Fitbit. And the main difference between GoPro, Fitbit, and Peloton is Peloton have a recurring revenue business model. And Fitbit and Go Fitbit and GoPro don't. Okay, Peloton have a thirty-nine dollar, um, subscription fee, 
uh, you can uh, like you have to pay every month okay it's a recurring revenue model so every month every month you have to um they can they don't have to get new customers to pay it every month they will pay it and then the charm rate is like uh, uh amount of people that are like unsubscribe to Peloton every month yes like 0 0.79 percent that is extremely good uh, the average industry and uh, subscriber term rate is around 5% and uh, Netflix will be a lot lower than 5% but I don't know how much so you have to uh, look it up again as a financial advisor please do your own research uh, I could be wrong and uh, uh, let's talk also talk about why so many um, Peloton bulls become Peloton bears I think it was like there was like too much emotion attached to the stock because they took a huge traumatized emotional hit when the price went from uh, $170 to $26 and when they start losing their principal you and uh, that's a different story if, if you just lost your gains but if you start losing your principal that will miss uh, with your mind a lot and you um that's uh, like the whole story will change so uh, it's probably an emotional emotional hit that's why some bull peloton bulls become peloton bears on uh uh twitter and another thing we're gonna uh, talk about is um why i'm buying the stock is because when you think about connected fitness product, okay, everybody knows that Peloton is number one. Without using Google or anything, can you name me a number two? Okay, for iPhone, number two is uh, Samsung, iOS and Android, number two, okay. Uh, what 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 other uh example that you can think of uh, uh Tesla there's no number two so I don't see a any uh it, right now my mind is kind of not working pretty well as you guys at least probably so take uh write this write something down first night like, you get the idea okay so it's some some um consumer product is easier for you to name. The number number two in that category, but on um, Peloton in the compet uh, connected fitness industry, there's no the competition is still pretty uh, far behind. Um, uh, like uh, brand recognition and uh, uh, and and innovation. And one thing I like about uh, Peloton is that they put uh, around 10% of their revenue on R&D so uh, last quarter they put in like uh, I forgot how much it was like 90 something uh, uh, something million dollars to uh, research and development and last year it was only like 5% so they are uh, researching, uh, developing more connected finished product. So, like Peloton's software thing is really good. You can just go into their investor relations website. You can see the design of their investors relation website in the app. It's really good design and it's very modern design. Like I seen some apps that still have nineteen nineties really bad design but Peloton's design is UX UI is uh, very very beautiful okay and um, so let's also talk about why uh, does uh, Peloton still have huge amount of inventory on the balance sheet and, and this was a news last week that uh, leaked to the press that uh, and Peloton is halting the production of their uh, treadmill and bike but the CEO denied it uh, okay so one of the reasons uh, they have so many inventories that 
the CEO was uh, judging uh, its production history, production demand based on history. History. So, like from 2017 to 2018, they have grow revenue like 100 percent. So, from 200 to 400. In 2018 to 2019, they also grow more than 100 percent. So from 435 to 915, 2019 to 2020, they also grow another 100 percent. to 915 million to 1.83 billion. And from 2020, they also grow their revenue, uh, more than 100, 100 percent from uh 1.83 billion to uh around uh four billion uh dollars so for the past five years the and the uh Peloton company have uh, doubled their revenue and doubled their production every single year but as you get bigger it's a lot harder for you to double your revenue in production so like John Bolt and uh, uh, the CEO is maybe predicting that they are going to do like eight billion dollars in revenue this year. Okay, I don't see how that will happen because I don't see like not everybody gonna afford a fifteen hundred dollar bike. It's not utility product, and not everybody gonna buy it. So, CEO probably overestimated the demand, and that's why they have so much inventory. So. CEO made a mistake, and that's nice. I expect management to make mistakes, so I'm not going to, uh, even Elon Musk made mistakes. Okay, so I'm not going to like, uh, uh, be be like, uh, like talk bad about about the company. It was a, you learn as you go. You become a CEO this. The night the CEO went went to guy MBA from Harvard, and in the Harvard class, I don't think it, uh, the professor gonna teach you uh, how to run a business. So you probably learn all your skills on the job. So that's basically that explains uh, why how they have uh, so much inventory on the on the balance sheet. So. It's nothing that uh, I will worry about. Okay. And let's talk about also the CEO uh, um, sold a lot of the stocks when the uh, Peloton went public. So the CEO sold around uh, 1 million, million shares and around more than $110 per share. So he got like uh, 119 million million dollars and the CEO like did a like a some kind of 10, 10 B1 some kind of plan it was a scheduled sale and when the price drops a lot uh, the CEO passed the, he's supposed to sell like 2.4 million shares but he stopped and and because the price drop or cancel or something like that so how much did he sell? He sold like six right, uh, right now he probably uh one million series he sold like he he used to be a billionaire when the price was at like hundred and sixty dollars per share, but he's not right now. So he's uh, he sold like sixteen percent of his stake in the company. But if you uh including options contract for the CEO that if you if CEO did good that like increase sale and he, like the board of director will give him shares like Elon Musk did and it's about five percent of the holding and the and my concern about this uh sale uh not really because uh right now not really because uh every single CEO dump shares at the uh, when the stock went public, uh, Snapchat CEO and co-founder dumps millions of shares, but it still went the price still went up. I bought it for eight dollars. And Square CEO Jack Dorsey dumps like hundred million dollars as well. And 
and many other CEOs just uh, selling uh, stock to diversify a little bit. But when they dump more than fifty percent or sixty percent of their the shareholdings, and uh, that I would be concerned. Okay. Yeah, you know, another reason. Like, Another reason I don't have a huge high conviction on this stock because is because when the CEO say that they believe he believe the company could become a one trillion dollar company, why would you sell at ten billion? Um. So, so that's that. So that's why um I don't have a high conviction on this stock, and I only put in like I only have like eighteen hundred at around thirty two dollar. I've been buying it when they drop twenty five percent, uh twenty twenty five twenty four dollar as well, but you could like, uh, right now I'm just gonna buy a little bit at a time because I don't have no idea when the market gonna recover, and like the last uh, recession it took eight years, not the last previous one I forgot which one was it but it, it took eight years for the stock market to recover, so. Some work, some recession like could take two or three years, some could take one or one or two years. So we just have to wait and see. Um, uh, probably can take a long time because Elon Musk predicting recession is coming and other people is predicting that. So I'm not really sure how that will go, but just you know, just buy uh like every time the stock drops, I'll buy some. Just keep buying it. Okay, so I talk about uh, now. See, okay. Uh, and there's three. Uh, let's talk about uh, another uh, uh, like uh, stuff I don't get about Peloton is the Peloton OS, Peloton operating system. I know yeah, the operating system for Peloton is Android based. They take like hundred percent on the uh operating system, or they still use Android because if they still use Android, uh, this is like now when you when you download uh a app from the Android App Store, uh, developers take a thirty percent, twenty five, twenty to thirty percent fee, and uh, cut to Android. So if they still use if they use Android is like a third party, uh, app store and they get you will take a thirty percent cut. But like in the future, when Peloton have like more than uh fifty million users, the third party can develop app on the bike and uh, customers can buy it by the app and uh, like they want as well. So yeah, like it will be great. If they have, if they own hundred percent of their operating system and and thereby develop app, they can keep hundred percent of the uh revenue. So if you know that, if you have any idea, if they develop their own uh operating system or they use third party, uh, just uh, let me know. And and. Now, like I talk about in the uh, beginning of the video, um, uh, Peloton is uh, more of a like a fitness company, subscription company, and it's like a also like a media company because their um, uh, Peloton instructors are like celebrity influencers, and when you go to their uh instructor uh Instagram Instagram page, and uh, two I found couple of instructors that have more than a million followers on Instagram, so that's like a celebrity star is like a bas super basketball superstar, um, that that can uh advertise their own, um, uh, better they release their own apparel like. Uh, September, so they can it's like free celebrity endorsement, and uh, for their for their own uh, apparel. So you can think of uh, the instructors like 
uh, like athlete kind of status because they get a lot of attention and get a lot of interviews. So you are like you are like creating your own uh, superstar as well. So that's another side of the business that uh, a lot of people don't see because that's like there's a, a lot of difference between GoPro and Fitbit and uh, GoPro and Fitbit and Peloton. Peloton is doing a lot more and the brand is mm, is creating a lot of value um, and then like Fitbit and GoPro like Fitbit only do one thing sells hardware that's it it's not it's not it don't have structures it don't have Fitbit apparel it don't have um, like uh, uh, like app subscription singles for GoPro they don't have instructors, uh, uh, apparel, or any other business. They only have one business that is selling hardware. But Peloton is different. You have a lot of different stream of revenue. And, and in my opinion, they only need to focus on three things. Peloton hardware, like the bike and treadmill. Peloton exercise, um, make, make the... Uh, App uh, experience better, the subscription better, offering more class like Peloton boxing and yoga and meditation. So it's more like an exercise subscription than a like a uh, hardware company. And Peloton apparel, I like that business as well because like Peloton spends a lot of money on advertisement. Not everyone will buy a Peloton bike. But they can still buy the um, hoodie or the brand or the hat, and they can still afford it if you uh, like the brand. So it's kind of like they are they are letting the instructor wearing the like the Peloton brand shirt hoodies and stuff. So it's kind of like it's like uh, uh, the brand things wearing Nike and Nike page and the brand like a uh, couple. I don't know how much, but it's more than a couple million dollars. But when Peloton instructors read, you're not paying their millions of dollars. So it's free uh, advertisement. Uh, is there anything? Uh, yeah, so that's uh, basically um, it for uh, every, everything. So um, to summarize, and I financial advisor, please do your own research. And I, um, I don't have a, like a huge conviction for this stock. So that's why I'm not putting a lot of money. Only put in 2,500. I already put in 1,800. So next couple of days, I will buy more. Mm. What's my price target prediction? Like, if nobody, like, present become a, like, a one-hit wonder in between, um, but they like, but every time they sell a bike, people are gonna still have to pay like thirty nine dollars. So there's no doubt that in the next five years, the subscriber count will increase, and the subscription revenue will increase. So next, you think out like next five years, the revenue could double in stock price, so double as well, so to mm, eight billion, and. In like two times multiple 16 billion so right now it's not 25 28 dollars so it could be a 60 dollar in the next five years if nothing works out but if, if everything works out it becomes super popular everybody wants a peloton bike like joe biden the president uh or united states also have a peloton so the brand is more like a a luxury brand you associate peloton with tesla Apple, like a luxury brand, okay. So they are building a luxury brand, in my opinion. So it's not like we we'll think of GoPro, it's not a luxury brand. We we'll think of Casper, it's not a luxury brand. It's like a high end premium brand. Apple is a luxury brand, okay. And what about the uh, uh, competition? I, I forgot to talk about the competition. So as you can see, like 
when Casper, I, a stock that I invest, but um, got bought out by another company, they got they got a lot of competition. That's why uh, it's hard for them. Their gross margin and stuff like that got hit a lot. But how is uh, I like how Peloton is dealing with competition early on with pat patent lawsuits because they are using Peloton's pattern to build out a connected fitness bike and they don't want that to happen. They want the competitor to invest their own money on R&D research and development and don't copy them, okay? They're using pattern as a competitive, competitive they have one like two lawsuits already advantage to uh, compete against to like I, I, I like there's nothing wrong with that because Peloton spend the money for R and D research and development and you just copy them and you steal their technology. Okay. So I think it's a good idea that um Peloton um uh, do what the right thing to do is ask them to to stop uh, stealing their technology. Just basically the way they gonna uh keep copycats of, of the space and so that's basically it for that so they are addressing so basically that's addressing the competition that's stealing their technology or that's still maybe like borrowing or something like that the technology so i'm not advisor advisor so i could be one piece doing own research so i just that that is my opinion so i could be one so that's basically yeah so i talk about a lot in this video so uh thank you so much for watching and uh, like and subscribe if you want to. I'll see you in the next one.